you guys are all doing good and today's video like you already know from the title is a makeup look for a festival which is coming just around the corner it is called raksha bandhan or rakhi most of you guys already might know but some might not know so for them who don't know let me tell you guys it is a hindu festival which is mostly celebrated in the northern a part of india so a sister ties rakhi or raksha bandhan or a a band sort of i'll show you guys an image over here somewhere it is tied to a brother's hand this symbolizes the protection that the brother provides the sister i know about this festival because i was brought up in maharashtra and uh, it is a nice season to be there this is basically a celebration of a bond of protection even though this seems to be very simple and a basic ritual where you just like you know you're in a family where you have a brother or you have a cousin whom you want to tie rakhi to it's just a a thing this gets over but it's not that simple there actually it is celebrated just like any other big festival there wherein the house is decorated there are sweets made the brother gets a gift to the sister so that was one of my motives to tie rakhi because i really wanted gifts <laughs> so i was like hey you know what i'll tie rakhi and then I used to get a gift, like maybe a chocolate, but whatever it is, it is worth a gift, okay? And everyone gets ready. It just looks like there's a party going on. So that gets us to this today's look. I'm trying to put up a very simple and easy yet elegant looking makeup look for every girl out there who wants to look perfect on Rakhi. So yeah, my second favorite color is blue. So already know with the dress I'm wearing, I'm taking the blue vibe here. That is because I have a liner which is blue and. Um, I don't know. This color is so beautiful. I really love working with it. So that is the main reason. Uh without speaking a lot, let me take you guys right into the video. I hope you guys like it. If you do, don't forget to let me know in the comments and also hit the like button. If you dislike the video, you can hit the dislike button as well. I would get to know how you feel about it. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and the bell notification button so that the next time i post a video you do not miss it out so let me get right into the video and i'll show you guys the simple and easy yet stunning makeup look for raksha bandhan i've already applied moisturizer and lip balm next i will be applying a primer i'm here i'm using the perfect match primer from color bar so i actually had this primer earlier with me i used this for my wedding it's nice i can tell you that however i kind of lost it and then i had to get another one you guys but primer is a good thing to have if you're trying to you know wear makeup for a long period of time or if it's a heavy makeup look it's good to have primer because it'll kind of cover your uh, pores in that way your foundation glides in very smoothly and perfectly so i'm just taking very little bit and i'm going to focus it more on the areas i really require coverage that is my cheek chin and my nose area and also my forehead and let me also tell you guys very little for this primer goes a long way so you just need a very small pea size amount to fill up the whole face but make sure you focus on the areas where you really have pores the next thing i'm going to do is use the instant age rewind concealer in the shade 144 caramel now i'm going to use this to cover the dark spots of my face because this is so close to my skin tone and this gives like a second layer of coverage because the foundation i'm going to use is not full coverage so i'm going to focus this concealer around my eyes around my lips and anywhere i have hyperpigmentation or any dark spots i use the same concealer to also cover my neck next using a damp beauty blender sponge i'm going to blend in the first layer of concealer again make sure you're patting the product onto your face and not rubbing it around because if you do tend to rub it around it's going to remove the product instead of building it on Now I'm going to use the Revlon Nearly Naked concealer in the shade 190 True Beige. Again using the same beauty blending sponge, I'm going to go ahead and blend this foundation in. Anything left on the sponge, I will use it on the eyelid as well. Now I will be using the flawless full cover concealer from Color Bar in the shade 003 satin. This is a very light color concealer for my skin tone, so I'm going to use this only to highlight certain parts of my face. The areas I will be highlighting will be under my eye and the T zone. But you see I'm using very little. I really don't want this to overpower. We're trying to make it as simple as possible. You can also skip this step. I'm just doing it for aesthetic purposes but you can totally skip it mm -hmm. 
Now that is done, our base is ready. At this point, you can choose to use a contour stick or a contour powder to contour your cheek areas and around your face. However, I'm not doing that because it's totally not necessary until unless you're going too white on your face. So I still feel like I have a little bit of color on my face. I haven't made it so fair that I need to bring back some color in. So I'm going to skip that part. You can do it if you want to. Now I'm going to use the primer plus matte powder foundation from Lakme 9 to 5. I'm going to use my fingertip, grab a little like this and apply it only on these inner corners of my eyes because they get to become very shiny. I recently found this technique to be good for me because using a brush generally does not give this intended outcome. That's why I use my fingertip and that works totally fine. That's only to focus it on the inner corners where I actually really, really get oily. But otherwise, I will quickly use a brush and powder down my whole face, but very little powder is required. However, on the inner corners, I require a lot of it. That's why I use my fingertip and that works perfect. Now I will be using a highlight. Here I'm using the V Face Duo Stick from Maybelline. So I'm going to use the highlight on the cheekbones, tip of the nose and Cupid's bow. And use my fingertip to blend it together. Let us do the eyebrows next. I am using my Miss Claire waterproof eyebrow pencil. This is in the shade 001 black and I am going to fill in my eyebrows. Now that my eyebrows look pretty decent, let's move forward to do the eye makeup. My favorite part, I want to use the blue again. Don't judge me because I'm using too much blue. I'll come up with a different makeup look. So here I'm using my old Revolution palette. I kind of love this palette because it is my first ever investment on a makeup palette. So yep. I'm not going to do a lot on the upper eyelid because I'm focusing more on the lower lash line this time. So I'm not using any shadows on the upper eyelid. I'm only going to use it on the lower lash line. I'm going to start off with a black liner on the upper lash line because I want it to be dried off so that we can give a little smoky effect to the eye. I'm going to use my Lakme Insta Liner in the shade black. I'm drawing a pretty thin winged liner. Now that this is done, I'm going to do the lower lash line and I'm using the Lakme Insta Liner in the shade blue. Now, when I use this liner, I'm going to make sure that I focus it more on the inner corners and almost nothing on the outer corner because I want to fill in black over there. Make sure you be very close to the waterline. I'm going to wait for both of the liners to dry and then we will be doing the eyeshadows on top of these. So while we are waiting for that, let's do the blush. Here I'm using the Sugar Mini Blush in the shade 01 Peach Peak. I'm going to use a fluffy brush, focusing it mostly on this area. Looks like the eyeliners have already set in place. So the next thing I'm going to do is use the dark blue shade in the palette. This one over here. I will be giving the name of it somewhere over here. I'm going to use the brush which came along with the palette because this is the closest to a very thin brush I have. Like you see, it's very, very, very thin, you guys. So I'm going to use this to tightly pack the shadow just where I've put the blue liner. There so you see how there it gives a blended and a smoky effect. That is what we are aiming for. But make sure you're very close to the tight line. You don't want to go further because then it look like someone punched your face. No. <laughs> Okay, now that is done, I'm going to use the same brush and use the black shadow from the palette and focus this on the outer corners of the lower lash line. I'm not intending to merge both of them together, so I'm just going to leave like a small little space there. I'm going to use the same brush with the black shadow. I'm going to smoke out the upper lash line as well. Now that is done, we have this blue underneath. However, it's not bright enough. I'm going to use a little bit of the liner on the inner corner of my eye just so that it pops out a little. No using fake eyelash this time. I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. The next thing I'm going to do is use the Lakme Iconic Kajal in the shade black and just draw the waterline. I really want to give this intense black look to the eye with a hint of blue. That is the reason I'm doing this. 
Now that we have done with our eyes, I want to do something different and that is a bindi. I've never done this before in my channel and I generally don't tend to wear it. But I figured that this look will require something like this because it's a very Indian and authentic kind of look that I'm trying to achieve. I don't have any stickers as such lying around my house because I genuinely never use it. So I figured I could use... Yes, we could definitely do that. So if you guys don't have a bindi or a sticker which you can use on the forehead, you can always go ahead and use your eyeliner. Tell me how I look. I don't know how I look. Now, the last and final step of our makeup and that is our lips. I'm going to let my lips be very nude for this makeup look. Focus is almost on the eye. So I'm going to use the Maybelline New York lipstick in the shade Nude Nuance. Now that does complete our look. I love how this eye makeup looks and with the blue on my forehead, with the blue dress and the nude lips, I guess this looks bomb. You tell me, how do you feel? I thought an Indian festive look definitely requires a chunky or something which is a little heavier on the ears. Let me know if you guys will recreate this look and if you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Here's my handle and I'll also leave the link to it in the description box below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Also, if there's any suggestions or ideas that you want me to do, please let me know in the comment section below. Keep pouring in your comments. Let me know what you guys like to see so that I could do what you actually like, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notification button so that the next time I post a video, you don't miss it out. Until next time, bye! But make sure you focus on the areas where you really have, you really have the, the eye area near my chin and near my, I'm going to, the next thing I'm going to do is use, um, is a bindi or a, or uh, what is it called? It's tickly. Tickly is in there. I don't know what that means. Um, not using a contour. 